Institutions that don't practice consistent safe work practices increase the risk of experiencing a tragic outcome, including possible fatalities, as illustrated by these headlines. This video will focus on one department's mission to make Arizona State University a safe place to learn and work. The Environmental Health and Safety Department's committed employees provide a wide range of critical services focused on ensuring the health and safety of the ASU community. An important role of EHNS is to develop and implement products and services that promote safe and healthy environments, which protect the university population, its interests and assets, while supporting education, research, and community outreach. One way EHNS accomplishes this role is to increase the awareness of federal and local regulations and adopted standards to ensure the university is in compliance with regulatory agency. In order to create a safe work environment, EHNS provides products and services that can be summarized within four categories as illustrated by the EHNS Services Pyramid: preparedness, incident prevention, hazardous waste removal, emergency response and recovery. The primary charter of EHNS is to be proactive toward preventing incidents from occurring, as depicted by the first three levels of the EHNS Services Pyramid. However, if an accident does occur, we are prepared to respond and assist with recovery. We will learn more about the services that are represented by the four levels of the pyramid over the next few minutes. EHNS is directly responsible for maintaining the safety and health of the ASU community through emergency preparedness and community awareness, which brings us to the first level of the services pyramid, preparedness. To be prepared and aware, we must first inform the ASU community of good safety practices. This is largely achieved through extensive training and educational programs offered at each of our campuses. We offer over 40 courses in both web and instructor-based training formats. But which classes are right for you? We have developed a tool to assist with answering that question. It is called the EHNS Training Determination Table. This table provides a description of both required and optional courses as well as how frequent each class should be attended. A few examples of the classes we offer include Fire Safety and Prevention, which all employees must attend laboratory safety and biosafety, which are required for all employees working in the laboratory environment, driving on the mall and defensive driving, which are required for employees driving state-owned vehicles either on or off campus. Office safety at ASU is offered to reduce office-related injuries and promote sustainable office practices. Additional classes include hazardous waste management, radiation safety, compressed gas safety, bloodborne pathogens, as well as several classes related to facility management, such as ladder and electrical safety. Once again, for a full list of offered classes, refer to the training determination table on our website. Course registration instructions and links are also available on our website. Being informed and aware of good safety practices is certainly a key part of preparedness, but preparation on how to handle an emergency is also achieved through planning. Emergency plans, which include evacuation plans, are developed for every ASU structure in case of an emergency. In addition, we work together with departments to develop their department-specific emergency plans. Periodic fire drills are conducted to ensure the emergency plans are effective. Plans are also developed to prepare for a campus-wide emergency. Annual simulated exercises are conducted to test the readiness of the emergency responders, which may involve federal, state, and local authorities. To meet the growing needs of the ASU community, EHNS implemented the Compliance Officer Program, which consists of employee representatives from across all departments. The Compliance Officers are liaisons between personnel from their department and EHNS, in which they communicate key campus safety and health topics thereby greatly assisting us toward increasing safety awareness across all campuses. In this section we have covered many aspects of safety preparedness. Being informed and aware of safe work practices along with effective planning and communication are essential toward fostering consistent safe behaviors in the workplace. 
The next step is to verify everyone consistently puts what they've learned into practice. Performing regular inspections in the workplace is a key component of the verification process. EHNS inspects campus buildings and labs to maintain a safe campus experience, which brings us to the second level of the services pyramid, incident prevention. Inspections start from the ground up, beginning with initial building construction or remodeling projects. Construction plans and project reviews ensure that each building meets all life safety code requirements. Once a building is in use, several routine compliance services are conducted. For example, routine air monitoring is performed to ensure building occupants are not exposed to any airborne contaminants, including asbestos. For employees required to wear respiratory protection, we perform annual fit testing of the respiratory equipment. Respirators are adjusted to ensure a complete seal is achieved. For employees who work with radioactive sources, exposure is carefully tracked to ensure minimal employee exposure. This is part of the Dissymmetry program. In addition, fire inspections are performed for a number of reasons, such as verifying emergency exits are accessible, electrical outlets are not overloaded, and fire extinguishers are inspected. Fire Extinguisher and Life Safety Inspection Program ensures that all units are in good working condition. This is accomplished by testing, recharging, and replacing them as needed. EHNS also performs inspections prior to special events in order to make sure that adequate fire and life safety measures have been implemented. Research and academic laboratories are another area in which we perform regular inspections of safe work practices involving hazardous materials, biological agents, and radioactive sources. This is done to identify, anticipate, and prevent occupational and environmental hazards. Real-time feedback of inspection findings is provided to lab personnel to prevent possible future incidents. In addition, recommendations for sustainable lab practices, such as energy conservation methods and the use of environmentally friendly materials, is also conveyed. In addition, all laboratories must annually register with EHNS. This safety registration is performed to assist ASU with managing the storage and use of hazardous materials. EHNS ensures that special training is conducted for all employees working with infectious biological agents such as human blood, bacteria, and viruses. We also ensure that all biological inventories are accounted for. In addition, we provide technical support to the ASU Institutional Biosafety Committee by reviewing researcher proposals and the ASU liaison to the Centers for Disease Control. All of the various inspections covered in this section are intended to identify, anticipate, and prevent hazards throughout the ASU community. All procedures verify proper conduct of personnel, ensure faculty and staff training has been effective by verifying good work practices, all of which contribute toward incident prevention. The third level of the EHNS Services Pyramid is Hazardous Waste Removal. EHNS performs waste management duties in order to secure the safe removal and disposal of hazardous substances. Waste is consolidated and packaged in preparation for shipment to an approved waste handling facility. Detailed records are maintained to document the transportation and disposal has satisfied EPA cradle-to-grave requirements. While radioactive waste is handled per Arizona Radiation Regulatory Agency requirements, hazardous waste removal is also performed as part of the sustainability effort. This is achieved through such programs as the Mercury Thermometer Exchange, which prevents mercury spills by replacing mercury thermometers with alcohol or mineral spirit filled thermometers. EHNS also collects items such as light bulbs batteries, and lighting ballasts for recycling, as well as cleans and interdepartmentally distributes used glass bottles for future hazardous waste collection. Thus far in this video, we have focused on the proactive services that seek to prevent safety-related incidents from occurring. Though EHNS makes every effort to prevent health and safety incidents, we are ready and prepared to respond to any type of accident should one occur. Which leads us to the fourth level of the EHNS Services Pyramid, Emergency Response and Recovery. 
EHS is in direct communication with ASU Police Dispatch and can therefore respond immediately to incidents and provide the most appropriate and effective response. Depending on the situation, EHS personnel may take the lead coordinating and performing the response activities. These activities may include hazardous material cleanup, fire related incident investigations or biohazardous spill cleanup, indoor air quality investigations, or a building evacuation. After accidents are contained, EHS provides immediate recovery support so the ASU community can resume normal operations. Recovery support begins with verifying the accident is under control by checking that cleanup procedures are complete and that the affected area is safe to reoccupy. Emergency plans and training are revised to include key lessons learned from the accident. The final step in the recovery is the coordination of the loss claim process. During this process, we represent the university as the liaison to Arizona State Risk Management. The dedicated staff of the Environmental Health and Safety Department continuously strives to develop and maintain a safe work environment here at Arizona State University. In this video, we covered several of the services that demonstrate our commitment in the areas of preparedness, which focused on awareness through training and emergency planning, incident prevention, which encompassed inspections and oversight of all our ASU facilities, hazardous waste management, which included the removal of hazardous waste in a timely manner, and lastly, emergency response, which covered our involvement during an emergency situation. To be successful toward preserving and strengthening our safe work environment across all our campuses, our department cannot stand alone. We need all employees to attend the proper training, work closely with knowledgeable department personnel, including compliance officers, and follow the appropriate policies and procedures. By working together, all of us must consistently practice safe work behaviors in every aspect of our job to prevent accidents and injuries here at Arizona State University. Just remember, when it comes to safety, often no news is good news. Peace!